It's vegan recipes with Pat and Emily. Hi, I'm so glad that you joined me today. I'm going to show you how to make a light, fluffy, and not too sweet frosting. Uh, I use it for on cupcakes. I use it as a filling to gobs and also to Lady Lux. In future episodes, I'm going to show you how to make the gobs and also the Lady Lux. My family has made this recipe for years and I did not know the name of it. So I went online and I found out that this is also called ermine frosting, poor man's frosting, or rue frosting. I have shortened the process. I do not cook my flour with my milk any longer. So come along and you'll see how I put together this light, fluffy, delicious frosting or filling. To make the filling, you're going to start with butter flavored Crisco in your mixer. Gradually, you're going to pour in your sugar and beat that. So put a certain portion in and keep beating. I have all of the sugar beaten in. Now I will beat it a couple more minutes until it starts getting fluffy. As you can see, this is still a grainy mixture. Now I'm adding flour and I will beat that a few minutes. While that's beating a minute or two, I will be heating the milk that will be added next. Okay, I am using cashew milk and I have heated it to about 110 degrees. You're going to be mixing this in slowly, beating it until you have all of the milk in it. It's time to scrape down the sides of the bowl. Keep mixing until all of the milk has been incorporated. All of the milk has been incorporated and the brown liquid is the vanilla. At this point, just whip it up for a while. I'm talking about beating it at least two minutes, maybe three. Make sure it's no longer grainy and that it's nice and fluffy. Scrape down the sides and in the back of the bowl, you can see that it's still a little bit grainy. So at that point, just keep beating. I put my frosting in a container. It will keep in the refrigerator for probably a couple weeks. I've never really tested it, but you can see it's light, it's fluffy, and it's really so delicious. Come and see us next week, and God bless you.